to the Sydney seat of Wentworth and independent candidate Allegra Spender, Tanya. She's just secured $300,000 in donations, which is not bad for an independent. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister says a vote for independence is a vote for Labor. Tanya, there's a real pile-on from independents who seem solely focused on wiping out the Morrison government, don't they? Well, I, I'll begin by saying, Chris, I reject um, the suggestion of what uh, Morrison has said in suggesting that this is the voices of Labor, because uh, when we look at a seat like the Wentworth, uh, that is, there are wealthy people from a wealthy electorate who were historically part and parcel of the Liberal Party faithful, OK? Let's be honest. Uh, and they are now turning on their own. So what Morrison has before him is his own people, really, in, in many respects, turning on him. Uh, and, uh, and it looks to me like... Uh, and I mentioned earlier the pork barrelling in Wentworth of $33 million. I'm not sure if it's going to pay off. Uh, but clearly, this is a huge problem for Morrison. Uh, he has a, a, an area where people have wealth. Um, they've got a, a lot of support. They, you know, they, a lot of traction uh, in the media and the social media. And I think you'll see that that seat will be a marginal seat uh, for Morrison and a huge headache for him. It already is a marginal seat. Now, Carolyn, the former mm. Liberal It'll supporter <laughs> who has since been dumped, Simon Holmes at court, this is his revenge. He is out to take them down, isn't he? Oh, look, perhaps, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure he's in the background and I'm sure there's an illustrious few others. Tanya does does make a little bit of a point that I do agree with, is, is that, you know, I don't necessarily agree that they're, um, they're in place of Labor. The, I actually think, you know, they are that what is now that kind of real champagne socialist. They're more Greens in Gucci than they are Labor, Chris. Spot on. Good um, description. But what... Yeah, so, you know... Former Liberal Party Voices cycle. of Wentworth... <laughs> Yeah, no, not really, because I'm a small business owner and, trust me, the Liberal Party faithful um, are really quite a different breed. Mm. Um, but what we are seeing here, we are seeing the voices of the entitled and the upper middle class. And, you know, that there is a very different thing to, to really what you would call your capital L Liberal voters. Yep. Another hot topic in the news today, transgender guidelines. A new poll has found that Australians are in favour of restricting women's sport to biological females. I can hear the woke brigade firing up from here, but Tanya, anything but biological females, let's let's be real here, it's clearly unfair, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, look, it is probably a question of fairness, and I'm sure the science is probably not indetermined uh, in regards to all the different hormonal changes and so forth that a person goes through. But I've got to say, when I read this article today, Chris, I, I noted that there was a senator there, a Liberal senator, that was proposing some uh, uh, law change. And I thought, wow, at the end of the term, they finally decide they want to do some law change. Uh, I've got to say, it looks to me like this has been raised because somebody might be up for a Liberal Party pre-selection in the Senate. I don't see why this is a pressing issue. I, I've not had this issue raised with me at, at any time uh, when I meet with my sporting groups in my electorate. So, look, there could be an advantage, could be a disadvantage, but I just don't think this is at the forefront of people's minds. I thought after the Olympic Games in Tokyo, I thought there'd be a greater conversation about it because there was some unfair competition that led to um, the winning of medals. It's not discrimination. It is just trying to put in place fair competition in a men's sport and in a women's sport. And we know uh, for a fact that men who become women, end up having a gra far greater uh, muscle mass and a very different configuration of hormones. Mm. Carolyn, it's, it's, a, it's an issue worth talking about, isn't it? It is an issue worth talking about. And, and to be fair to Senator Claire Chandler, this is something that she has been talking about for a long time. Yes. I think the reason that we don't have as much conversation around this is because of the strength and, quite frankly, the belligerence of some of the trans activism that, that goes on. I mean, you look at the silencing of... Um, you look at the silencing of someone like J.K. Rowling over, over a very similar issue, and mm. she just got absolutely Bummel. burned. So I think it is correct, and I think it is a conversation we have to have, but I actually think it's a conversation that we're, we're either not ready to have yet 
or, um, or people are a bit scared to have because people are scared to have an opinion on this for fear of being cancelled. I don't I like that. I think that is probably actually the problem. Yeah, I don't like that. Say what you think. Forget about being scared of what you think. Carolyn DeRusso, Tanya Mihaluk, thank you so much for your time.